guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm doing a Vita Grace review, try on haul and answering some questions that you guys sent in about the price, the sizing and the quality. So I bought three things, this cardigan, a pink cardigan and a matching kind of white ivory tracksuit set and I got a good few questions when I popped it up on my page because it's actually a brand that I've never heard of before. I spotted it on someone's Instagram story and I loved the look of the stuff. They are quite pricey and it's like they're not like a designer label but they're definitely like more high end if that makes sense but the quality really is good but I do have to say with my pink fluffy cardigan the one I wear all the time this one that I absolutely love it is so heavy it's a great um it's like really easy to wear it goes over so much there's a top in the sleeve of it that's how much I wear it it's kind of like more like a jacket than a cardigan I just absolutely love it so soft so heavy but the first time I wore it, it lost a button and got a small rip in the side. And then the second time I wore it, I lost another button. But you know what? I actually prefer it without the buttons because it was bringing it up too high and it hasn't had any, had any issues since then. The rest of the buttons stayed on. My mum sewed on one of them that fell off and it stayed on afterwards and she just tacked over the small hole. But I was like kind of surprised and I was like... For the price of it, like this was like £100, I was like I wasn't expecting it to rip the first time I wore it. But ever since then, I had no issues with it whatsoever and I'm after wearing it like 10 times. So I'm thinking maybe did I get it like stuck in a door handle or like a hanger go through it or something because they are brilliant quality. So I think that was a fluke, but just in case it wasn't, I said I'd let you know. But I haven't had any issues with this one. All the buttons are staying on, no rips, no nothing. And this one's actually better quality than this one. Well, thicker. This one's more like a shacket. Or like a cardi jacket whereas this one is just a cardigan but let's get talking about it anyway so i just came across the website on so its instagram page really liked the look of their stuff and it's a uk um based brand so i was like oh my god this is going to cost me a fortune brexit wise but i can't remember exactly how it worked but i ended up paying the import duties or maybe it was just the shipping before it came which was ideal because then I knew how much it was so I didn't have to go through with it if I didn't want to but I was like look I think it's worth the payment now I need to get the, up the email because it also took ages to come and that was another question that you guys asked me but I ordered one thing that was pre-order so they did tell me that it would take a month to come uh, for that item but I thought it was for just that item but it was actually for the whole order because I obviously wanted to ship it in one go which now makes sense but at the time I forgot that um, the cardigan was pre-order and I was like where is my stuff so in total right so the um, suit the little tracksuit set I'll pop in a picture of me wearing it here was £159 for the top and pants this cardigan that I have on me now was £89 and the Flamingo um, oversized cardigan was £98 and then I got a discount of £34.60 uh, with the VG10 so that must be like their signing up um, like their subscription to newsletter code or something and then it was £311 a total with €35 Euro shipping and then that was it there was no um customs or import duties or anything and i definitely did get this after brexit didn't i yeah i got it on valentine's day actually fair play to me treating myself but yeah i think it was definitely worth the money to be honest like the quality of the stuff is brilliant after wearing the cardigan easily 10 or 15 times after wearing this about three or four haven't worn the tracksuit yet but i am gonna wear it now going out it's just it's too nice to wear around the house it's one it's more like one of those tracksuits that you wear but not as a tracksuit you wear it more like kind of glam you could even wear it with heels it was so nice or like sandals or something like it's not like a you know around the house tracksuit so i haven't even worn that yet but from how many times I've worn this cardigan, I can definitely say it's well worth the money. Um, the quality is absolutely incredible. Obviously, they're expensive for like a, something that's not actually designer designer. But I was well impressed anyway. And hopefully that they are made um, ethically. They're definitely going to be sustainable for me anyway. Because I'm going to get so much wear out of it. Because I've worn it already 101 times. So I can't even imagine how much more I'm going to wear it and because it's so oversized I can wear it over like little vests like this I can wear it over t-shirts but I can also wear it over knits and it doesn't look weird because it's so big another thing I was thinking is you could even put like a little belt around it and wear it nearly like a dressing gown but it's just so lovely and I love that it is like that thick fabric on the inside it's not furry on the inside 
which might be bad for some people but I actually kind of like it because I can wear it in the summer without sweating but that is this is definitely my favorite if I had to pick out of anything and unfortunately this stuff is gone now because it took me so long to get in room to this video but they uh, they might get it back in and they just have gorgeous stock in general so I just thought I'd give you a little try on haul and let you know about the price the quality and the size so I think that this was a one size fits all which usually I don't like because I don't agree with that I don't think one size fits all at all but yeah oh they were both one size okay controversial because okay this now I don't agree with one size, but this definitely could cover a few sizes. Like, it's a little bit long on my arms, but not majorly. Like, if you have long arms, it's probably going to be a bit short on you. It is very long in lengthwise, but if you want to do it oversized, it's not going to be oversized depending on how tall you are. Like, I'm only 5'2", but um, that is annoying. I don't like when brands do one size things. But I just love this so, so much. And I suppose I get lucky sometimes at one size when it fits me. But other times they're just way too big. So that is annoying. I wish that they did have a size. Because what even is one size? Like I'm a 6. It's fitting me. Maybe it would go up to like a 10 or 12-ish. It'll be short in the air so you could pull it up. But I suppose it is quite wide. But still I don't think it should be one size. And then in regards to the blue one. I'm surprised that this was one size because this isn't that big at all. Like, this is like a, a 6 to 8, maybe a 10. Definitely no more than a 10, probably more of an 8, small 10. So that is annoying that it's one size. Hopefully they'll bring in more sizes because I really like the brand. And then with the tracksuit, that went like extra small, small, medium, large. And I'm gonna try that on for you now, but it is definitely true to size. The waist is tiny, which I was kind of half happy about because a lot of the time tracks advances are way too big on me. The leg is meant to be cropped, which is sometimes good for me, sometimes bad. Sometimes a cropped leg fits me perfectly as full length, but also sometimes a cropped leg is not long enough to be long on me but not cropped enough to be cropped on me. And it's just a really awkward length, so I probably will have to get them taken up. But I'm gonna try them on there now anyway and show it to you. But overall, I really do love the brand. I just wish that it wasn't one size and I really think that that was just a once off in regards to the cardigan because nothing has happened ever since. But let me try on the tracksuit now and then let me know if you have any more questions. I think I have everything covered other than that. Price? expensive but worth it quality wise except for what happened the first time I wore that and um, size size is kind of annoying because I don't like one size things um size uh, shipping took a month but because I ordered a pre-order and then shipping was 35 and no breaks at our customs was that everything size quality price size quality price I covered all that now okay so here is an example then of it with the white and this is what it would look like if I got it taken up into an actual cropped pants would it look more flattering on i think sometimes showing a bit of tanned ankle makes it look a little bit more dressy as opposed to a tracksuit like let's just show again so i'd have to pull it down to here this is the joys of being the most weird size ever at the weirdest height so that is them fitting perfectly i actually do like them looking long i think it's unusual because most of my pants are cropped okay, this is it with a little cami and the pink cardigan so it looks even more dressy now than before with the pink golden goose as well it looks quite cute and then we just change to the matching top okay now it makes sense why the pants are meant to be cropped because now there's no way i can wear them long because i just look really weird the top is actually long line it's not cropped it has two little slits in the side and it's long so that i don't think you could have like a long flowy top on top of a long flowy pants so that is why they're meant to be cropped so i guess that answers our question for us that they need to be cropped now i usually don't like this sort of a look because i think it makes me look very small like having the baggy on the baggy and a long line so i think i probably would roll this up and have it like slouchy like i like long to the side or long to the back but i don't like it long the whole way around unless i'm wearing like leggings or something and if i do like something long i like a baggy but this is like long and straight which is kind of an unusual fit but it definitely looks very like elegant very expensive very like 
glam. So I think this is definitely something you'd be wearing with your sandals and your crossbody bag. Maybe a little trench coat or um, even like a nice denim jacket would be gorgeous. The other thing that I noticed is the wrist holes and the neck hole is tiny. It's really tight, which feels nice when it's on because you feel really put together and like you're not gonna fall out or that the sleeve is gonna turn baggy but it is hard to get your not your hands into but your neck if you're wearing tan be careful because i think i probably did get tan on that now but it is a gorgeous tracksuit and it's definitely more of like an ivory rather than a white as well stay on brand i put the pink over it really really cute really comfy really nice way of wearing loungewear but a little bit more dressy as opposed to just like watch you around the house i love this and then the pop of color on the shoes or else you could wear like another pop of color in a coat version like my yellow one from acne but this is really really cool i love this actually it's probably the best match with it so yeah guys hopefully that was helpful and kind of gave you a better insight to the brand and how much the shipping costs and the quality and the price and all the rest of it let me know if you do have any more questions and let me know if you have anything from vita grace i hope i'm even pronouncing it properly i feel like they have such gorgeous things that you do pay that little bit extra but you'll have them forever like even looking at the things that i got i know they're things that i'll put away next summer and i'll take them out again or even like spring and autumn and you can nearly wear them in winter as well if you wore like an all black underneath it or like this is the perfect winter white outfit but yeah really really love them and hopefully i'll spot some more on the website soon it was annoying that it was 35 euro shipping but at least i didn't have to pay customs on top of that that was my fear so at least it wasn't that bad but let me know if you have any more questions in the comments below and i'll get back to all of them thanks so much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video bye